It's official. It's been a year since I fulfilled my childhood dream of becoming a signed model. October 2021, I hoped for the best and packed up my car for a month's stay in Chicago to work in modeling and build up my portfolio. If you've been following along, you know I fell in absolute love with the city and have since decided to leave my hometown and move there permanently. Well, the lease is signed and it's official. We are moving to Chicago and I'm documenting the whole thing from finding the perfect place to decorating it. Check out my channel to see the full apartment hunting vlog and follow along on the journey. Obviously, touched down. I guess this is the beginning of the video, so. Looking a little crazy right now because I'm just trying to stay warm. This time we're here for a special reason. I guess it's not that special considering last Chicago vlog you guys saw. I went apartment hunting, but I ain't like it. I, I, I did some rethinking and I was like, you know, we're gonna raise the budget because I don't, I don't like it. I, I don't think I'll be comfortable and feel at home in the place that I chose the last time. Uh, the aesthetics just weren't there for me and I'm really looking for more of a view and they just didn't really have that. No, 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 the aesthetics were there. That's all that was there. But also the bathroom was just like, bleh, I don't know. You guys can go look at that old video. It's a, it's a nice apartment. It's just not gonna, it just wasn't gonna fit what I needed. But I guess since I'm in Chicago, I should give a little like backstory. I'm from Alabama and I'm moving. I'm in the midst of moving for my modeling career and also for my influencing career because I feel that it will definitely flourish more here, uh, which I could really tell last time I was here. But um, anyways, if you don't know what my channel is about, we are basically just trying to get through my 20s, but we're doing it all in style. Always count on me to serve a look, but you cannot always count on me to know what I'm doing. Hence why we're back here, because last time I went apartment hunting, I didn't know what I was doing. So, <laughs> we're gonna run that back and start over, try again, because yeah, it just didn't work out. We're only here for a couple of days. Um, it's Sunday now, and we're gonna be leaving like Tuesday afternoon. So, literally, like we're only here for one full day. Well, I guess today's kind of a day, because it's like only 1.30, but, and we got here at like 12 actually a little before that maybe but anyways um yeah we're not gonna be here long we're literally just here to find me a place to stay uh right now i'm trying to move like beginning of march like really march 1st would be ideal um of course that all just depends i don't know what they have going on on their end but that's what i'm hoping for so um by the time you guys see this video i don't know that may maybe a few weeks out but right now for me this is a month out um, so yeah, that's the plan right now. I'm with my dad, as you guys saw. Um, he in the bathroom though. <laughs> Which is why I get to talk to you guys right now. I mean, not that I couldn't talk, but I'd just rather, you know, just one on one. But yeah, so tomorrow is the day that we're going to be looking for apartments. I actually ended up having to get a broker. Not intentionally, it was kind of an accident. You know when you go on apartments.com and you're looking for an apartment and you hit up that person? Well, I think it was something like that. Like I saw something I liked, but I could not figure out the name of it. So I basically just contacted them and they were a broker. But I'm glad I did because it was actually very helpful so far. You know, I can't I can't say that I went and it was successful yet. But so far, it's helped a lot because she gave me two extra spaces that I had no idea about and honestly were way nicer than anything I chose at the same budget that I had. So I guess that's the importance of having a broker. They know things you do not know about the area and about the deals. So if you're looking for an apartment right now, highly recommend getting a broker so you can just not be on the verge of tears like I was <laughs> like a couple weeks ago. But um, yeah, we're probably about to go eat because I'm starving. You can come in. We're probably about to go eat because I'm absolutely starving. 
I tried to get a Danish today. It was an apple Danish, and they gave me a cream cheese one, say? and I hate cream cheese. So now I'm upset and hungry. Huh. But yeah. What did you say? Did you ever wonder? Yeah, do you ever wonder what? We are too. Hey y'all, so I just woke up from my little nap. I took like a like an hour nap because I have to do some editing. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking cold. So I tried to fix, or not fix the thermostat, but like I can't really tell how this particular thermostat works in this hotel. So I'm just like freezing, <laughs> basically. So unfortunately I'm gonna have to work with this blanket on. It's freaking cold, <laughs> but um, I will say, uh, you guys helped me out on Instagram with like how to pack and stuff and like how to dress. And so pretty much what I did was I just layered like, first of all, I wore a bra. I don't wear bras, but I did make an exception for Chicago weather because right here, you'd be getting real cold. And so a bra helped obviously <laughs> with that. Uh, then I added like this bodysuit and then that little Sherpa looking jogger suit and then also my um padded jacket that you guys saw so that that helped with keeping me warm a lot i know i should go work at that desk over there but am i the only one who does not like working at desks i guess i did it for like not so long but i did it for like a year straight and now i just i don't want to be at a desk i want to be like on the couch it's like not a good habit do some editing so i can submit this video for approval um and then after that i'm probably going to you know watch church no, no no i'm probably gonna take a shower because i'm cold and then i'm probably gonna watch church service virtually and then watch my own favorite youtubers or at least the ones who have put something out because i feel like a lot of people haven't been posting so like i'm suffering here i want to watch youtube but all right i'm gonna see y'all in the morning we're going apartment hunting tomorrow. I mean, that's why y'all here, right? If you guys are regular viewers, you're probably just here in general. But if you're new here, that might be why you're here. So <laughs> I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. So it is Monday and we're about to go apartment hunting in like 30 minutes. An update. It was so freaking cold. Remember I was saying that I was like freezing? Well, I think I said it. I don't know well anyways I was freezing yesterday and apparently that's because our heater is not working um so we didn't figure that out until this morning I just thought last night like when my dad was asleep I just thought that I just didn't know how to work the heater so I was just like mm, forget it and then today he tried to wiggle around with it and it it's just not turning on so we're gonna have to switch rooms um but we're not gonna do it right now so yeah we've been literally wearing like dressed like this around the apartment because we've been freezing our tails off but yeah it actually snowed this morning i meant to get a video of it but it stopped <laughs> and so but that's good though because i don't want to be walking around in the snow like i'm literally looking outside and it looks like torture <laughs> right now um yesterday was fine i was fine yesterday because i was super layered so we're gonna try a different fit today which is like this chunky scarf i have on a cashmere turtleneck and then uh these are wool stirrup pants so they're tucked into my ugg boot it's like not impressive it's just like trying to keep me warm wish me luck you guys i kind of have like no choice but to find an apartment today because i'm not trying to fly out again obviously just to go apartment hunting so one of these needs to be it so we're gonna see So we arrived at the first apartment building and kind of just like a little breakdown of how it was set up. So this apartment building that we're about to see was considered a luxury apartment building. 
I don't think it was a high rise per se. In my opinion, it did not have <laughs> that many floors. So that was something that I was looking for. So I already knew going in, you know, that was one less thing. But one aim that I did have this go around was to look for a luxury apartment building because I'm really just trying to live somewhere where I don't have to leave the house much, if that makes sense. But I honestly am just very much so a homebody. So my aim here was just really to make home just as outside as possible. So this one actually started off pretty well because I started off in the bathroom and I was actually pretty impressed with like the aesthetics and the mirror was like not too tiny. There was a little bit of counter space and honestly that was very hard to come by so I was just grateful for that little bit and not to mention like the marble tile inside the shower. Of course you know I can see myself doing a whole bunch of hygiene routines and like you know get ready with me's for you guys in that bathroom but most importantly there was a wait for it wait for it washer and dryer this is actually like a dual one so i think they're like two in one or something like that but um that was actually pretty hard to come by when i first went apartment hunting i did not find one of those <laughs> but um there was a coat closet that you just saw pretty much all of these i think had coat closets and then you can see like that little separated wall so this is a studio but it's considered like a convertible so there's like a wall to separate your living from your like sleeping space and that was super important for me now as you can see um the closet <laughs> wasn't hitting on absolutely anything i knew that again it seems that all of these like luxury apartments at least like studio size and convertible size you know they didn't have like a ton of closet space you would have to go for like the family apartments for that and then the kitchen, you know, wasn't too shabby. It wasn't super fancy, but they do allow a backsplash upgrade. But that is between a backsplash upgrade or a closet upgrade. And um, y'all already know I was about to choose the closet upgrade because we need to maximize that space. But, um, you know, let me mention this because you probably are like having so much anxiety wondering this. Jordan, do you see that big old yellow banner? Yes. Yes, I see the humongous yellow banner, and trust me, I was just disappointed as you guys. Um, why would you put that there? <laughs> I actually really liked this specific studio apartment, but um, that yellow banner was just not doing anything for me. It was doing the view absolutely no favors. It was one thing to look at a brick building, but it's a whole other thing to look at a big, huge yellow banner. And you know where I'm from, we got hella Dollar Generals. And so every time I look at that, I think a Dollar General and that made me a little upset. All right, so we just left the first apartment. I recorded on my phone. So if the footage is a little, you know, not that good, that is why I was working on a phone. But um, it was a good one. The only thing is the view was not like outstanding like I wanted it to be. Um, we're gonna see how these other ones go according to view and then I'll kind of base it off of that because really that's the only thing that I'm not loving. So one thing I didn't like though is that they didn't have a squat rack in the gym but I'm not gonna make that a make or break on why I'm not moving <laughs> there. But I did really want a squat rack and I did see some places that did have one because I'm not trying to leave like at all when I go work out. Like I don't wanna leave the building. I'd rather work out there and I need a squat rack. Um, but yeah, it was a good one. But like I said, we're gonna see how the other ones go as far as view goes. And if they're not good, then we're gonna come back maybe to this one and see what a one bedroom would look like because they have all of the um, convertible studios on one side of the building. And so that means you're gonna get kind of the same view. So yeah, we're just gonna see what apartment number two is looking like. You guys, so I just discovered something. I hate being the passenger. What the heck? How do y'all do this? Oh my God. So 
next up we headed over to apartment two out of three so this one was also considered a luxury apartment as well but this one was actually a high rise so i was excited to see this because of course a high rise is gonna have like more impressive views which is why i wanted the high rise type of building also i was excited to see this one because apparently it had a ton of amenities as well so coming into this apartment you can kind of just see this little nook on the side where i could put like a dresser or some type of storage system you can also see this long hallway that they have with a closet on the left it basically just has the washer and dryer and it is considered the coat closet but again another spot with a washer and dryer we love to see that as you keep walking you see that we walk into the bathroom the bathroom was pretty simple i mean it was modern so i liked that there was not like a ton of counter space, but really it wasn't much less than the last place we had went into. And then as you kept going, you can see that this one kind of had the same setup as the last, only the wall is finished instead of being like just a little piece of whatever walls are made out of in the middle of the room. I will say this space looked a little smaller. It literally looks like I could get a bed in and that's probably about it. Also, I was not crazy about these closet doors. I'm thinking, you know, these could be taken off maybe. But yet and still, this closet did seem like a little bigger than the main closet at the last apartment. Closet space is just something that I was not going to get in these type of apartments, okay? So as you come around the corner, you can see the kitchen. I actually really liked this kitchen setup and I loved the darker countertops over like a lighter countertop. I also feel like the appliances looked better. Not to mention, you guys, I've never had one of these little thermostats. Apparently, you can use that thermostat from like anywhere. Um, hopefully I showed it good enough. Like I said, I'm filming on my phone, so I don't know how this is going to look in YouTube form, but I am trying, y'all. It's also like me trying to like take it in myself. So yeah, there's that. But let me tell you, this last one that we looked at, it surpassed my expectations, okay? I wasn't even trying to go for all that. I didn't know they had all that. I wasn't expecting. Y'all. I can't put all of the amenities in here. This apartment was everything. It was everything. Um, I think it may be the most expensive one out of the three that I'm looking at today, but I will probably say everything in the voiceover. So I'm not gonna like get into it, but it was amazing. Like it was, the luxury apartment was on 100, okay? It was as luxury as it's gonna get. Unless, you know, I get one of those like penthouse suites, you know, and they did have those, but we, we're not at penthouse level yet. We're going to get there one day. Um, not there yet, but I'm just grateful to even be able to get this. Um, but you know, I haven't chosen yet, so we're going to go to this last one. So she recommended I still go. So we're still going to go. And I'm saying this like, don't expect much is what I'm saying. Cause I think it's pretty old. So I'm just going ahead and give y'all a heads up. I mean, at least y'all see it through the screen. I'm going to have to smell it because y'all know how old buildings be smelling. So, um, oh, I'm excited. Let's go. Okay, so this final one was the only one that I found by myself before I had a broker. As you can see, me having a broker, as I said, made a really big difference because this one was really old. But I must say the lobby was rather charming. Um, it's not really what I was looking for. I was looking for something very modern. But despite the lobby, I decided to still look at this one because the actual room itself looked like it was very like white aesthetics online and it looked like it was very bright so they did only have one place to show us that was like set up or furnished so keep that in mind while you are looking at this place the other ones were not furnished so of course they're not going to be like oh my gosh wow this is so cute so this one was furnished but get this you guys so when you go in here you will see that it does look quite modern even though this building is super old but this is the only room that they had that was like updated so I wouldn't even get this room my room I'll show you later okay so coming in it's very very bright um let me say it looks bigger on screen 
than it actually is when you walk in there. This one was definitely smaller than all the places I had seen. All of this bright light is making it look like it's super spacious, but it truly was not. But I will say it was a very, very cute place despite that. But again, this one would not be available. So it did not have the floor to ceiling windows type thing that I wanted. The windows were actually really small. They Again, they don't look that small right here, but they were really small. <laughs> this is the view from the inside and i also didn't like that you saw the ac i know you guys are probably like wow you're being very picky but you have to understand that i do content creation therefore like i have to have a certain setup and i have to have a certain amount of space even if it's not a big space i gotta be able to make something shake and in here it was a little difficult and also there was no washer and dryer so that was definitely not exciting to me you can also see that like i said earlier the sink is like the only space that you have like to put anything down so of course when i do makeup i don't have anywhere to put my stuff because there is no counter space at all there's just a sink i also wasn't a huge fan of there being a bathtub you know i want a bathtub one day when i have my own house i want it to be solely a shower but i will say the marble tile on the inside was super cute and I really like that this one had a medicine cabinet, which is something I've never had and I've always wanted. Okay, so flashback to reality because that's what you're about to get with this next space. So this would be the setup of what you would actually get. Okay, so you can see like they've got stucco walls. It's like very textured. It looks much, much older. So mind you, these pictures were not the ones I saw online. Um, I did keep bringing up the wall. She didn't seem to find it a problem, but it was a big problem for me. I personally was not attracted to that wall at all. But as you can see, there was so much space in this place. But also, as you can see, we were missing a major thing. We were missing aesthetics. Also, the kitchen, because it wasn't open concept, uh, it was very, very tiny. I thought there was going to be something on the other side of that wall, which is why you saw me look in there. And there wasn't, okay? There wasn't, um... But yeah, this place, it was very, very spacious, but again, the windows were small, so it wasn't letting in a lot of light, and it was given a very old feel, which I mean, I wasn't surprised. It's something I expected, but let me know what you guys think. I definitely want to hear which one you guys think I went with, because there will be a follow-up video. Well, a few follow-up videos, because I have to move in, of course, so you can see which one I have. And of course, you guys will see me like going shopping for my decor and like decorating and stuff, which I'm so excited about. So make sure you're subscribed. We were gonna go to the movies, but <laughs> don't nobody wanna go outside right now. So we're probably just gonna stay here and watch a movie on the TV. But yeah, that's, those are the apartment tours. Um, I think I did make a decision. I will do an official, like, I guess tour, an apartment tour and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. Dang, my dad was yawning. <laughs> I'll do all of that obviously like when I move in um, because I just feel like the place I chose 
the video just doesn't do it <laughs> any justice if that makes sense uh because i was really like just trying to focus on recording <laughs> he doesn't even know i'm filming oh my gosh but um yeah i was just trying to do a decent job of recording so i could go back and look at it like for reference and so um it's not gonna be very cinematic or anything like that if that's what y'all are looking for shoot if you're looking for that you need to go watch apartment tour videos <laughs> and they do a great job of that this ain't that so um yeah i'll actually do an official you know move in probably move in vlogs and stuff like that decor shopping decorating all of that i'm so excited Ugh, i'm just i'm so excited about the content that i'm about to be able to give like i just feel like you know it kind of depends on creativity too it doesn't just depend on like where you live and stuff like that but i do feel like a big part of it is where you live and i know a lot of people have said like oh you should stay in the south because you know being in new york and being in la is so basic nah, 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 nah. okay but i'm not growing in the south you know for the type of content that i do i can't reside in somewhere like atlanta georgia it just it's not a fashion place like there's fashionable people but it's not a fashion place and even chicago is like still pretty good when it comes to fashion they do have like events like that especially like i went to a freaking fashion awards one time so yeah they do stuff like that there or here they don't do stuff like that in atlanta really now don't get me mistaken i love new york it's my favorite place to be but being in chicago is like kind of like a better option living wise it seems i can't say because the longest i've stayed here at one time is a month but based off of that i'm thinking chicago's probably a better place to live and honestly a huge reason why i decided to move here is because of what people who live here say about chicago i have not met a single person that has been like i don't like chicago everybody i've met is obsessed and they're like i'm not leaving shoot one of the guys who is over the apartment building that i'm looking at he said he moved to new york <laughs> and he ended up moving back to chicago and that's no hate to people in new york new york is freaking amazing but it is a little you know they they got some issues but i love new york but yep yeah, i'm super excited i hope you guys enjoyed which one do you guys think i got i'm curious i feel like it may be obvious but you know for the element of surprise even though it's not a surprise we'll wait and we'll see all right thank you so much for watching see you guys in my next video Bye bye